do have bass. Wow. Really awesome. Mm -hmm. And you have a massive power with these. Super clear. Very nice. Turn it up. So, how did we get to this result? Getting a better studio sound can be surprisingly easy. I'm Andrew Goldberg, and I'm part of the team that develops the Neumann Studio Monitor Series. Today I'll visit some composers and songwriters here in Kreuzberg, Berlin. We'll give them a serious upgrade to the sound in their project studio. Let's get these monitors working for us. Yeah. So what do you do here? We write and compose songs. So, great. Um, any number ones? Yeah, of course. Some good songs. Yeah, great. <laughs> it's good to hear. So what have we got in this room then? It's got some nice, uh, nice damping on the side walls. Yeah. That's great. Uh, that will reduce the reverb time. You probably feel that already. Yeah, sure. And then, uh, yeah, some nice hard, hard surfaces here. We'll get some reflections off there, but let's see how that affects the sound later. And what a lovely ceiling, look at that. Yeah. Nice brick yeah. ceiling. Yeah. Room with lots of character, it's fantastic. Yeah, so let's take a look then. Yeah. Here we go. Ready? Oh. Da -da -da. <laughs> Ta da! Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Quite small. Yeah, it's very small. Yeah. But you have a good size room here, but it's yeah. more about the listening distance. There's some presets, right? Yeah, there are like some switches, and they're the acoustical controls. And if you mm. place a loudspeaker near a mixing desk, then you get a boost in the bass, and it sounds a bit boomy. And that's not very nice for your mix or your listening experience. So um, the desks are different sizes, are small ones, large ones, medium ones. So we have a switch, yeah. and you just simply read the words there, and you can decide how All big right. your desk is and set the right It's a large desk. Should we call it a medium desk? We call it a I medium desk. I think it's a medium desk. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we so. set that to medium desk, and that's done. And then you put that one over there on the left. And there too. And oh, they're already there. Yeah, they're already in bolts, so that's nice. Okay. User manuals take ages to write, and they're worth reading if, they, <laughs> if they've got good content in. So we have a user manual on the website, which you can download. And right at the back of the user manual is an angles chart here. And what we do is we position that in the center of the desk, and then we can just hold it in position there. And then, do we have a cable? You can hold that there, above okay. the... To the center? Above the center there, that's right. And then you put it on the angle front of the cabinet. And then we're looking for 30 degrees along here, which it is. Uh -huh. That was a good, good starting place. And then we have a distance. And now we go to the other speaker, yeah. and we can yeah. see that, yes, the, that needs to come yeah. in a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so we have to decide, does that need to come further uh, yeah. towards us, or does the other one go yeah. further away? No, so we'll bring that one further, yeah. a little closer there. That's great. Good. And so then, mm. and that's good. So let's just double check that we've got the same distance on this side. That's great. Uh -huh. And then just one last check is if I hold that, if you go over to the right speaker, uh -huh. and then I pass it to you, you put that in the middle of the, the front of the cabinet there, and then you go to there, and that's the same distance. Okay, yeah. So now we have an equilateral yeah. triangle. So now we can look at the left and right. So that's looks like it's pointing at the middle of the listening position. So the same listening distance, they're pointing vertically the same way, and horizontally they're pointing at the listening position as well. Mm -hmm. So now that's it, they're set up properly. Cool. And what that means is we now have two loudspeakers producing sound that brings sound to the listening position at exactly the same time. So that's really helpful for your imaging, because now if you pan something to here, it is here. Mm -hmm. If you put it there, it's there. And if you press the mono button, everything will be in the middle, where it mm -hmm. should be. Okay. So that's good. Shall we try and have a listen now? Pretty smart guy. <laughs> It's like a, like a saw base, you yeah. know? When I finished it, I totally forgot about the saw base, and now I can listen to it. It was gone for... until you brought them speakers here. <laughs> Magic! <laughs> I really like the highs. It's it's they're really crispy, but but not like in an annoying way or something. <laughs> they do have bass. Yeah. Sounds really amazing. So I'm quite sure David did a good job in mixing, <laughs> but you did a good job in your with your speakers. Already, with some care and attention, we see yeah. a great result. In the next video, we will show you the Neumann control software. See you soon.